Welcome. Today we will, we will be talking about smart homes. And if you don't get the Disney reference on the screen, you're not in the right place. So, what is a smart home exactly? There are kind of a few types. The bigger smart home is many different appliances and technologies that are interconnected in a home that sense data and alter the surroundings in the home to make life more easier for the user. The second type is kind of just the appliances being pre-programmed and sensing data around them to change their to change their functions to then make it easier on the user in the home. So for example, if we are talking about the appliance version, air conditioning would be one of um, the most prominent examples. So an air conditioning would turn on if, would sense that the user walks into the room and would turn itself on and get itself to a prearranged temperature that the user would work with the electronic company to then program the air conditioning to get to at a certain time. Another example would be windows or lights. So again, the appliance or smart home would sense that their user walked into a room and the lights would turn off or the window shades would open. Um, and in the inverse, if a user walks out of the room, the sensor would then turn off all of the lights. So these are just a few examples of how a smart home would work. Um, in the bigger picture, all of these appliances would be connected and it would be almost every appliance within the house would be sensor connected and pre-programmed. Here is a diagram of all the different things that could be programmed or connected in a smart home. So again, here we have an air conditioning and a heating aspect to it, or the windows or wall switches for lighting and shading. Um, and again, the plug-in receiver here down on the right bottom is for plugged in appliances like a microwave or anything in a kitchen. Okay, so one of the most important questions that we explored was how does it work, a smart home? So in the most basic way, smart sensors around the house track human movements and habits. So it can be daily routines or just one specific action that's taken place. Um, the information sensed by these sensors is then transferred. Um, it can either be transferred via wires or wirelessly, but more often than not, Smart homes use wireless connections to transfer this information. And then once the information has been transferred, the home's computing powers analyze the data. And then after this analysis, the home can adjust the various mechanisms that we just heard about before to better suit the inhabitants' lifestyle and daily actions. So one of the most important parts of this process is the data and the actual conversion of these sensors to making real changes in the house. So for the sensors, they're known as smart sensors within a smart home. Um, there are two main types. There are visual sensors, which could be cameras that are tracking movements, or um, contact switch sensors, which are also known as binary sensors. Um, binary sensors are described here on the screen a little bit. But for example, that's a door closing. So it's an action that is kept track of through numbers, through quantitative values. And the four key functionalities in the data processing in smart homes, the most important ones are compatibility, flexibility, robustness, and real-time data processing. But the most important of these functionalities is compatibility because without it, a smart home would not be able to process the data it collected. It would just be too complex. So therefore, the homes wouldn't pick up on human behavior and the whole smart home would kind of be moot. Okay, so another important uh, topic about smart, smart homes are the societal impacts. Um, so some of the pros is that it helps give those um, who might not be living independently, including elderly people or people with uh, mental disabilities, it gives them a sense of independence because the home can help 
um, monitor them and making sure that they're okay and doing simple tasks that may, um, might not be able to do otherwise by themselves. And also, it saves time. Um, uh, the house can do the menial things um, that most humans would spend time doing, on, like turning on the lights, turning on the coffee machine. Um, and at the same time, it saves energy because humans will forget to turn off appliances, a smart home will not, and um, little by little, it will save more energy. But some of the negative uh, impacts is that there creates a loss of autonomy. Uh, people will become reliant on the smart home or the appliances doing things for them. And uh, if they get too used to this, they won't be able to do things by themselves. Um, and then also there's this lack of control over their environment. The smart home and appliances do everything for the person. So uh, the people in the home could feel like they're not even in control of what they're doing, uh, which could be problematic. And also there's this inability to understand what's going on in the smart home because the smart home is very complex. You might just be uh, curious or confused about how it all works. And that could, again, provide this lack of control into their environment and confusion and how you're living there. Um, and then because of this loss of autonomy and this reliance, there is going to be a, a desire or maybe a habit to become isolated because the house will do everything for you. So why would you leave? Um, and then there's the ethical and security issues. Uh, there's a lot of information going on in a smart home. And most of it is going to be shared, especially if you are um, being monitored by health insurance companies or hospitals or family members to make sure you're okay. Um, because the smart home is monitoring literally every move you make, uh, that's just a lot of privacy that could be uh, that could be taken advantage of or hacked upon, um, and this causes a lot of security issues. Uh, and because of this medical information going back and forth, people can literally take control of your life if they know what's going on in your house.